I've got a book that's set in, in the future uh, where people are forced to take part in a reality TV show uh, where, where most of them die. You know, I, when I watched Big Brother, I, I remember thinking, you know what would make this better? If more of them died. The Hunger Games is amazing, so says Stephanie Mayer. I've got a feeling all the Twilight fans are going to be like, well, if Stephanie Mayer likes it, flippin' egg, I'm going to read it. So yeah, we're just going to, we're going to start on part one, uh, <laughs> rather than start at the end. The main character who's speaking said, my mother was very beautiful once too, or so they tell me. Like, why is she so unnecessarily mean about her mum? You know, your mother used to be, used to be beautiful once. <laughs> No. Sitting at Prim's knees, guarding her as the world's ugliest cat. Do you think it's got a certificate to prove that? I don't know. How is it the ugliest cat, eh? It's got a mashed in nose, half of one ear missing. Actually, no, this does sound pretty damn ugly, actually. Uh, eyes the colour of rotting squash. I don't even know what colour rotting squash is. Most things rotting turn black or grey or green. All just normal cat eye colours, I would think. The cat hates her. The main character is hated by the cat. I don't think this story is going to be mostly about the cat. Uh, you know, it would be great if it was, because I love cats, I do. I imagine it's going to be about that reality TV death games thing that's that's on the cover. Oh, apparently there's a field called the Meadow. Uh, Twilight fans, anyone? Introduction of another potentially main character. Hey, Catnip, says Gail. My real name is Katniss. So, he got it wrong. But when I first told him, I had barely whispered it. So he thought I'd said catnip. Hilarious. Oh, what a funny misunderstanding. Either one sounds very much like cat food, if I'm honest. Catness. Mmm. Meaty chunks. Right, we're not going to mention any more about catness and meaty chunks. It's just inappropriate. First impressions of Gale. He says, look what I shot. And then he holds up some bread. He's a, he's a funny man. I can only presume he bought it. And there's bread roams free in, in the future. May the odds be ever in your favour. You know, you could just use that in everyday life, couldn't you? Betting shops could use that line quite easily. The National Lottery could take that one up. She's 16, we figured that out. And her name's going to be in the reaping, this is what it's called. It sounds fun. Uh, 20 times, 20 times. Ah, odds are against her. But the odds be ever against you. Where they live is called Panem. Uh, and it's actually, it used to be uh, North America. I didn't know that. What we can look forward to, eh? Not that this is obviously... Don't take this as prophecy. I mean, it's a book. Uh, it's fiction. So basically, all the districts decided to rebel against the system, um, and then they got defeated. And to remind them that, you know, don't do that again, that's naughty, um, they put in place the Hunger Games. Don't you go rising up and rebelling, otherwise we're gonna give you a reality TV show. Oh, that'll teach you. Uh, forced to take part. Eat that. Well, she doesn't get picked. Do you know who does? It's her sister. No. Oh, no way. I'm conscious that this, I've got like a box of light appearing. <laughs> Lighting situation solved. Katniss has decided to volunteer instead of her sister. Oh, that's heroic. So this whole selection process, or the reaping, as it's called. Why would you call it the reaping? Why? Like, that just sounds scary, doesn't it? I wouldn't want to go to that. Like, if you just called it selection day, where you get picked, you know, that would be all right. Oh, it's selection day, oh, okay, that's fine. Oh, it's, for, it's time for the reaping. Oh, no, that doesn't sound fun at all. Who named it that, the idiots? There you have it, an introduction to the Hunger Games. That was, that was fun. I'm probably gonna read the rest of it. I'm probably, I don't know if I'm gonna do it on camera. Uh, you know, unless you want me to, you know, if you, if you want me to do that, then let me know. <laughs> Bless your face.